uh, to be an Aussie girl to be in Australia, in American yeah, Pantyhouse. Yeah, it is. It is a big deal because um, they've got um, laws over there where it's um, you need you know your American ID and you need your other ID to be able to work right. in America. But because we did it a different course, way, it uh, made it all oh, yeah. okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. I hope. You know, well, hey, <laughs> I'm probably I don't know, twelve years older than you, more. I've got no idea no, actually. No. So, but what I'm saying here is, I was, I lived through the seventies and eighties as a you know, yeah, graduated school eighty nine, Penthouse and Playboy before the internet was invented mm -hmm. carries so much mental weight. You know, that's that's the top of the top. That's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, there, there is only Penthouse and Playboy, and the other the others. Mentally, uh, just you know, has like also rans. Yeah. So you know, you wouldn't understand how was, well, how huge that is necessarily. No, it's, but it's pretty. I'm I'm really chuffed about it. I feel really special mm. that they've you know chosen me to be in there. They've chosen me two years in a row, yeah, wow. and that it does make me feel really special. Yeah. Yeah. Good on you. A little bit proud. And <laughs> yeah, especially from the restaurant in Chugan. Yeah. You know, you know, that was a. But I've seen you work. I've actually seen you, you know, having to work at, say, the Coolangatta Hotel, mm -hmm. you know, s setting up things and, like, you know, promoting yourself. Yeah. It's just like we we're talking about before. It's a constant grind of, oh, listen to me, Bert. I'm going to be <laughs> That's here. all right. Cheers. Yeah. Um, a constant grind of uh, <laughs> promoting yourself, be it yeah. you're in a band, mm -hmm. you're a comedian. Any any kind of work, it's a, a, the endless push. It's never as easy as what people think. It isn't, no. I did learn a lot, though. Um, the year when I was in the running for Penthouse Pet of the Year, I learned so much about self-marketing just for trying to get more votes. So I'm like, oh, what can I do to get more votes? So I could do this, so I could do that. I think the last night before the votes closed, I actually just walked through surfers and went into pubs and clubs and even in the street with my iPad and just okay. ran up to random people. I'm like, hello, I'm in the running to be Penthouse right. Pet of the Year. Would you please vote for me? Yeah. <laughs> just put your email in there. Yeah, why not? Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, every single vote counts. And yeah. you just come, keep coming up with ways that you could do more things and better this and do that. Right. So it's... Hey, okay. Uh, yeah, along the same lines of you've got clubs and then you've got club owners. Mm -hmm. So you get, would get to know these people. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A or are they bit. sort of, are they sort of behind the scenes? You don't really see they're, them. Well, see there, they're more behind the scenes and I'm, I'm a, I'm a worker. So I just sort of turn up and, okay. and I do my show and I get paid and, you know, right. I, and I go. Right. Um, I've been saying this all, yeah, yeah? I've so been saying this a lot lately, the, the creepy days or when we were in a, in a, in bands mm -hmm. in the early nineties, you could go, you could do a gig in an hour away from here and no girlfriend would know what you're doing, right? <laughs> and you could just play up. You could do whatever you want. But in this day and age, no. Facebook and everything has is, is completely killed yes. the, um, the rock and roll lifestyle that of oh, all that. So yes. I, I'm hearing what you're saying right now and going, damn, look, it's actually, of course, if you, would, if you were to go work somewhere, mm -hmm. it could be Perth, it could be in America, and have a bad time, you only need to go – Oh my God, I just got creeped onto the max by this person yeah. who was the manager of the club. Yeah. He knows that also. He's probably got a little family <laughs> here. Oh, what's wrong with the world? Aww. Isn't it funny that we've created <laughs> this great thing, but at the end of the day, it's, it's getting to be, you know, we're in the... It's it, a little too... Yeah, the sort of... Yeah. Uh, it's still enjoyable. I'm not saying that. It's, 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 it's created protection for you guys. This is true. But um, everyone... Out there in the rock and roll world, when you're doing a gig, <laughs> it's as simple as like, and, okay, and we finished the gig, has an iPhone. pack it up now. There is absolutely no, no chance you'd risk your own family life by, no. by talking to any single person in this room because mm. someone you convinced are me one there with Facebook one phone search. go click. Yeah, well, that person was Facebook. just doing this. Yeah. I'm like, oh, have a look at this, everyone. Isn't that crazy? The yeah. face thing. Yeah, the face thing. Isn't it funny how we've gone so far now with the internet? We used to be scared of it mm. about getting your profile out, and everyone's just like, ah. Oh. You know, and you have, I could take a photo of anyone and it all, how does that work? It already it knows, already who, knows the person who it is. is. That's scary. But we've all kind of gone, ah, oh, whatever, you know. Yeah. It's just, it's just the, the way. Yeah, but where does that stop? 
I don't know. That, yeah. Have you seen this thing? Have you seen this thing? It's the the drone. Um, mm-hmm. it, oh, I keep thinking it's the eye life, but it's not that I. Uh, I can't think of what it's called. I Vicky Avili or something. You wear a watch. It's a little white drone that flies behind you, and you could go for a ride right now through all through Surface Paradise here, mm-hmm. and it flies behind you recording the video. But you might get to the end and say, "Hey, do a three beep, do a three sixty around me, and it'll take a full panorama if you're on a mountain, right?" And it's it's out there. It's I need sold. one of those. So it, it, it people have them now. I need so that. you can go anywhere. You could jump off buildings and it'll go and follow you down. Oh you know, my God. soon they'll be so fast and so quick and so small that you'll barely be able to see them. Mm-hmm. But they're recording you, and you can do anything you want. Drive around, and the thing will chase you and follow you. That's where we're headed. Oh, <laughs> it's those crazy... so badly. Oh, it's called something like a, it's like a flower, like the, the Vili, the Vicky, Vicky, or whatever. People yeah. who listen to this will just be going, oh, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. And I need it something like world. that because I've been doing all my own, you know, I've been taking all my own pictures and, you know, editing everything myself, putting it all up for sale in my shop. Right. And um, I'm just. What is that shop? What? Oh, it's on uh, scarletmorgan.net. That's my, my website, which I just built all by myself. Did you? Yeah. Right. What really is it? Proud. WordPress, Joomla. No, it's what? Wix. <laughs> what? Wix? Is it's that... a Wix. <laughs> They're all the same now. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah? Okay, but, um, that's cool. Yeah, no, it's really, it was really fun. So I you know, built all that and I've got my online store on there now because the only reason I did it, I would have kept going without an, a, um, what is it, an internet. Yes. <laughs> I just brain farted. Did you, did you hear that? <laughs> Website. There we go. Yep. Um, I would have gone for longer, but my online selling platform just kicked me off because they don't like the fact that I'm selling pornography. Oh, wow. Right. So I built my own website. Is it pornography? Well. Or do they categorize it as? They categorize it as okay. pornography. Okay. You know, okay. men's magazines and okay. and things. And the photo sets that I've been selling are a little bit raunchy. Okay. But, um. Yeah, so wow. it works out really well because, you know, I take my own pictures. So I've just set up the self-timer on my camera. Yeah. Take pictures, edit the pictures, put them up there so people can just – you just pay for them and instantly download everything. Wow. And um, But it would be really cool to be able to do drone videos and stuff as well. I, I need to – because I don't mm. really have anyone to hold the camera for me. It would be – Yeah, right. Yeah, well, this thing will hover exactly where, it yeah. want, where you want it to. I could it's do crazy. everything. Nude. Crazy. All the nudity. Until the police come and say, hey, this is Surface Paradise. You can't do that. Yeah, but then, <laughs> but then I've, still got a dr- jump. I've still got to have a drone <laughs> filming the whole thing. <laughs> People would buy it still. Yeah, they would. <laughs> they'd, yeah, they'd get you out of jail. Girl runs through Surface nude, gets yeah. you know, arrested. Or captured live on a drone. I want a drone so badly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want that kind of drone. Mm. I don't want something I have to fly. No. Like that just sounds like a pain in the butt. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Apparently you can just go, okay, dot, 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 dot. You know, there's the address and it'll just go, wow. No way. It's nuts. It's, they're probably all about in this sky right now. It's, it's like, right we have no now. idea. It's Honestly, right here. Yeah. I saw one on the, <laughs> there was one on uh, the internet last week of a, a drone went up to check out a crane and there was a guy whacking off in his, like oh, a God. high rise crane driver. <laughs> And the drone was just flying up. And, they, and what they do now, actually, they're having drone racing. Yeah. Drone racing. Yeah. And these guys wear glass, wear the goggles. It's first person they call it drone racing, right? So the guys are actually looking out the camera, but they've got goggles on. And that's what happened. This guy flies up. Okay, I'm going to fly around this huge crane in the sky. <laughs> and the driver was still in there Whoops. whacking it. Oopsies. To the penthouse pet of um, what you hear. <laughs> <Five months. laughs> oh, listen to me. Hey. Um. Now what? What happened? <laughs> okay, so, well, what's coming up then? Well, what's coming up? So I've just What's Gladstone done... like? It's a big mining town, right? It is. It is a big mining town, but I think everything's starting to close up there, which is a little concerning for the economy of Gladstone, right. I guess, because they've got Curtis Island, which is offshore. It's where all the, all the miners stay, but then they get their days off. They come into town, you know, over the weekends or whenever their weekend is, and... They get paid a lot of money, so they spend their money in town. And wow. once that closes down, then what's going to happen? They've got all these brand new, you know, shopping centres and restaurants and all these wonderful things that are starting to really take form. You, know, what happens when that money dries up and goes yeah, it'd be somewhere like a else? Ghost town, sort of thing. Yeah, which is it's a little bit concerning. 
Wow. I'll just go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's um What is a good destination then? Ooh. Oh, Melbourne's always good. Perth is amazing. Yeah. I'd love to go back up to Darwin because yeah, it's why? just it's the weather up there is amazing. Really? It's oh, it's warm, it's just perfect humidity. This time of year it's just glorious. Yeah. I was there. Yeah, I was there this time last year. It was wonderful. You walk outside, you walk to the yeah. shops, you get a nice healthy sweat, nice glow. Are they full on Aussies up there? Like there's lots of backpackers. Okay. Yeah, but it's very sort of wild west. Yeah. Mm. And I was doing, I was doing pub shows actually. So I had a contract where I would do, um, ten to twelve shows a week, at right. all different venues. Okay. And I'd have a driver, you know, take me to each venue huh. every day, which is just fun. Cool. Yeah. I went up there, two years in a row there, and I remember just being it was just hot full time. Mm. Even at two in the morning, yeah, it just all of a sudden it rained, and it rained like like it was Vietnam, yeah, like just solid hot rain. Like, oh, bah! so that was in the wet it season. Didn't stop. Yeah, must have. It yeah. was September. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know, but it was just wow. This is, just wouldn't happen anywhere else. The first time I went up there, it was in February, and it was so hot. You walk out of the house, and you're just instantly wet, and you're like, "Oh, is that my sweat, or is it the humidity?" It was so hot. I think it was about forty six degrees. And I was walking to the shops. I'm like, this is the worst idea ever. Why did I do this? But, you know. Yeah. No car. <laughs> is it way better than having a normal job? Yeah. Of course it is. It is my normal job, though. Yeah, yeah. But, you well, know. Well, then again, when was the last? Always... Oh, okay. When was the last time you had a 38-hour a week, you know, clock in there, listen to, you know, oh, God. <laughs> and someone's playing Triple M. And, you know, when was that, the last time that happened? I don't know. Maybe never. Never. You go. Oh no, I did years and years and I think it's centuries ago now. It feels like I think I was seventeen, sixteen or seventeen, and I I was doing some night cleaning in surfers. Hmm. That was pretty okay. Pretty boring. I'm really good at cleaning windows. Yeah. Yeah. Can clean a window. Yeah. Real fast. Is it true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But even yeah, well, that, even they, that well, was fun though. I don't really do. Yeah, but work. You know, I don't really do any jobs that I'd find to be boring. Everything's exciting. Right. But I I know of a lot of people who, you know, they just yeah. sit there in that that office that's in front of the factory sort of thing, and they just they're sitting there punching away thirty eight hours. You can't even listen to the radio. Just no, no, no. So I guess you're succeeding. You know, you're yeah. you're doing something that you're chasing. You're Goal based, like bang! I want to go there. I kind of like to give that the a try, country. though. I'd like to see. Oh, yeah, them. but you know, I want to know. <laughs> really, I might really enjoy it. I'll bet you a hundred bucks now. All right, that what? That you wouldn't enjoy it. How long do I have sitting to do it there for? in one place? Well, there's the other thing that problem perhaps for you being so uh, nomadic in with your mm. work. You know, you like you know, and I and I haven't even asked you even personally, like the money involved in this industry, but it's a, I bet it's, I bet it's exactly like a comedian, you know, you're going to do a show, you're chasing the, the bigger ones all mm -hmm. the times, right? So, yeah, um, but the, the great side is you aren't working at some place where the boss is getting rich and you're just like, ah, yeah. and your I ass is boss. getting big because all you get is 15 yeah. minutes for lunch and you're just eating like hot chips from it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I understand. Yeah. Yep. So it's a, that's a, you know. And then again, because I am my own boss, I have to create, you know, opportunities. I have to do, like, I do so much time. I spend sitting right there, um, you know, yeah. doing photo shoots, editing photo shoots, doing social media, creating blog posts, you know, answering emails. So much time. I think I spend about three days a week just sitting in that one spot on right. the couch. Yeah, and I sort of stare like outside. I'm like, oh, I should go outside. But no, nah, I'll just, you know, finish off doing this. Right. There's all this other stuff that I have to do. Well, color, I love it. color our world. You know, honestly, you know, if it wasn't, uh, I'm sure women would give you a hard time. You know, like there's, yeah. there's a certain amount of some ladies like, nah, you know. But without um, without showgirls, who's coloring the world? You know what I'm saying. This is true. You're born with the body. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. That's it's you'd be a fool not to do it. If you if you're sitting That's... in some office chair for 38 hours, uh, you know what a waste. Yeah, there's a whole market of of 
of things out there totally made for your shape. 